It's your boy, Soldier Boy. I'm going live right now to shout out to all my all my fans in New Jersey. I feel like yesterday I overreacted on the video. I ain't even watched the video. I just seen the caption that niggas was putting and I went live and went off. See, look, I'm trying to be nice. He talking about you banned from New Jersey. Hey, nigga, fuck New Jersey, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I'm done trying to apologize. I'm done talking about the shit. Suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> Bailey's sitting here crying. <laughs> I literally, because like, whatever. I said, what's she crying for? Me and her have shared tears, okay? So like, whatever. Same. That's my fucking boy. And I know he felt the love in the room. And yeah. I was just kind of overwhelmed. Like, I bet Big Dog was over. Well, wow. and he had no idea. Yeah, because he and is I a Jorge is a, a feelings ass type that's of nigga for real. That's why we won, <laughs> bro. That's why he gets me. Yeah, he fucking gets me for real. Our homie Jorge, he done been here since day one supporting yeah, the podcast. He low key really talk about. He low key work, I mean, he's he low key our manager. Yeah, he yeah, was our booking ass, manager. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out my boy Jorge. Yeah, once man. he gets settled back in his new crib, I know he's back on time. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he was helping us with the scheduling. Managing us, like yeah. that's a dog for real, for real. Yeah, shout mm -hmm. out to him. Love you, yeah. Jorge. Love you, Jorge. Thank you for everything you do. It's Hell yeah! Before we start getting into topics, man, I just let y'all niggas know, like, subscribe to our shit, share our shit, cause I'm sick of you niggas, man. I'm really sick of you niggas that see us out and y'all be like, oh, love the pod. <laughs> subscribe to the motherfucker, then, <laughs> bro. They nah, see us shit. out, they be fucking with us. But I just nobody want everybody share the don't shit. be too don't be too aggressive because you love everybody nah. who give a listen. I just <laughs> want everybody who always likes um, our reels and stuff like to reshare the shit. No, nah, I'm like eat. there's definitely like activity on our shit, so like reshare it. If you are gonna comment, just reshare that shit. No, nah, I'm <laughs> evil red flame today. Oh no, <laughs> I'm evil red flame nah, here love today. You guys. Nah, man, I like, love y'all, but share that shit, man. No, nah, for, for real. real. <laughs> no, it's all big love. You know, we all trying to eat. Nah, we appreciate so. you all. But Period. yeah, because y'all don't gotta listen, especially to my annoying ass. But thank you. Stop it. <laughs> thank you guys so much. We love the support. Okay, we we changed up some people. We love the support. Nah, nah, man. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of these niggas, man. I'm sick of. <laughs> Not everybody. that I just ended on a nice note. That's so why you I started going to the next thing. That's why I started with that Soldier Boy clip. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't fuck nobody on this shit though. It's never fuck anybody. They yeah, put, he I came through it. hella aggressive. You said that's why you started with that. <laughs> Say no. fuck, fuck New Jersey. You saw that shit. You saw that shit, did you? We gonna come and blow New Jersey up. Hey, first of all, <laughs> when I try to save some money to visit my best friend, I fly into Newark, New Jersey, all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. So it's not fuck New Jersey. <laughs> no, y'all saw the Soldier Boy shit this week. This week, right? I'm sorry yeah. that we could talk about it on the last pod because it yeah. literally happened right after we recorded. It was off the strength of that, like, uh, yeah. that, Wait, little, that questionnaire. No, yeah. So, yeah, it was like a question. Remember they had the Jay-Z question, like, whether had dinner with Jay-Z or uh, $10,000 oh, yeah. whatever. Courteous question of They all did time. Soulja Boy bogus. They gonna say, uh, would you rather have dinner with Soulja Boy or $200 in food stamps? Wow. 250 and Why did they play him? I'm like, like y'all better stop playing with Soldier, man. Like Soldier, not will, the. Though, but he's was corny, like though. unhinged, kind of. Like I definitely have all the respect for him, but he's like unhinged, bro. I definitely didn't see him screaming at his live with yeah. like the little white <laughs> on the side of his mouth. Like my nigga, fuck. you need to take two seconds and step back. Nah, the thing is, like, you have to be an idiot to think that. First off, if Soldier Boy took you out to dinner, he go bag you more than two hundred fifty dollars. How food. do you know that? <laughs> I'm talking about if you go out to dinner with Soldier Boy. Your meal gonna be more than two fifty. What if you're a nigga? <laughs> if you talking about some business shit, <laughs> they if he, ass he's like, bro, you ain't got no red. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying no. though, like Soldier, like you, you, it's, you would sit down for dinner with Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy not for to eat at no place lounge. He gonna pay for the shit and get you two fifty worth of food. Period. I don't know. It just depends. I feel like it and depends. He's still just like you a man. Yeah, he go teach you how to like Soldier Boy. Tell you a way to get two hundred and fifty dollars. Why would he give you that? <laughs> I don't know. He chopping it up uh, on game. One date. The premise is that he chopping it up on game for real with you. Why would real. he chop it up with you if you won a dinner with him? 
understand it's not, that. It wasn't no contest. They just saying, what would you rather take? Oh. A dinner with Soldier Boy, $250 in EBT on your link. That's a crazy. I mean, damn. They crazy. I'm going with Soldier. Soldier, they're going to definitely give me, a, go, go give me the methods. Yeah, Maybe. I'll get some kind of. I'll get some. He's gonna give you game. some kind of method. Yeah, for real. I feel the you. The nigga right, been relevant right. for twenty years. Yeah. I have. Years. I have two hundred and fifty dollars. I can. Uh, I can spend. Even that if on I did, if I, I feel like if I went, myself. I feel like if you went to soldier, I, have, I definitely have two hundred fifty dollars. If you went to my I'm nigga fucking. soldier and say soldier, can you help me figure <laughs> out how to? Not make even talking money? big money talk, but gonna like, show you how to get some buddy. I would rather have some game than another two hundred fifty dollars. I just feel like this if a celebrity work, thinks you're fucking lame, they're not gonna give you shit. And that's, <laughs> that's how celebrities. But that's what work. I don't understand. Why people would ever think that soldier boy was lame? But why do you think that he like you don't know that nigga? He no. literally could be that <laughs> asshole that I'm talking about right no, now who would not give you shit. And talk like be silent during nah, said dinner look, look, because nah. who the, he would look at you like who the fuck is this goofy you know, ass nigga? Fuck, it, that is it. actually very very possible. I'm fucking real. with so I feel like if I if I get a social boy, yeah, he go I he, he go real record that's a real nigga for real. He could be oh yeah he 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 tapped look, in for real. Love saying that and they love getting their feelings niggas, at the end. No nah, niggas be tapping in with me because I'm I, I you know what I'm saying I'm with it. But sometimes you should never meet your heroes for real. Literally that, bro. Like Perry's been gassing up Soldier Boy since, and we talked about it on the pod before. Like since Perry literally loves Soldier oh, Boy so eight. much, he made me pay attention to like the not so hype songs and be like, "Damn, Soldier Boy actually got yeah, bars. Boy got He's hit. actually talented as fuck." That does not mean that that nigga will give you any piece of anything. Ain't no game <laughs> the, free, my nigga. Like, what? I, I feel like I could pick Soldier Boy brain and figure out how to make twenty. Well, not if he thought that you were a lame. <laughs> And he I'm not possibly, a lame. I'm but not he, a lame. But Facts. he could possibly play you like that because he got he, more money than you. So I like, mean, he could, up? but he could be like, "Oh, this nigga not lame." I'm <laughs> glad you have all this confidence. I need a piece of that pie. Bro. No, man, cause I, just, I get to chop it up about soldier like motherfucking kingpin BZ. That's my shit. If it isn't Mr. BZ, fair the enough. Kingpin. I guess if you sit there and talk about him, man, he would entertain. I'd the be like, bro, because I see what you, I see what the nigga been doing, man. For, for how low he is. That doesn't mean that a nigga's gonna do the first nigga game. on him. I'm just saying that niggas that they got to start putting more respect on Soldier Boy Dane. Don't be putting my nigga talking about EBT and Soldier Boy in the same yeah, breath. That's ugly. Don't yeah. do yeah, that. You see how they did it to the Jay Z being like this, and yeah. then to this other nigga. You saw, yeah. You gonna try to compare my nigga Soldier Boy to EBT? Nah, I slapped the taste out your mouth. For real, like, ah, that nigga Soldier ah, Boy is that. Don't play him like he ain't a, like he didn't do everything that niggas are doing right now before. He's a black millionaire, so you shouldn't. He's play a him black like millionaire. I want to talk to any black millionaire about getting some money. Yeah, if they'll talk back, bro. if they'll talk back, and see, because like, like think about it, like remember when? So I mean, from a distance, he does seem like he would be a dickhead for real. You for know what real. I'm saying? <laughs> Dead ass. Come on now, and like, it's not the music and like, like not the hate know, that like, other people are saying. It's literally just like I, the person he nah, is. Yeah, and nah. Soldier Boy broke me as an artist. It'd be amazing for real. Look at the artist that he break for real. Who? Motherfucking Chief Keith, nigga. He did not break. He Chief broke Keith. Chief Keith. He That's brought Chief Keith outside of Chicago. I swear to God, where Jimmy at? Okay, yeah, I did hear that, but I don't know if I believe it. For he real. was on. Um, he was on Three Honey. But okay, that's he was, Chief Keith was on SOD Money Gang. So was Lil B. Sure. The bass guy was on SOD Money Gang. Period. Rich the Kid was on SOD Money Gang. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I My feel bad. you. It's just like money changes niggas. I don't know. It's, it's like gonna, really crazy to think that you would calmly go into a dinner with Soulja Boy and really think that he's gonna fuck with you automatically. Um, I'm just I would saying, be nervous that, that nigga Yeah, you be having to like, you be having like sit there and fight for his respect. I just want some yeah. I just want <laughs> over an appetizer over a uh, lobster dev, little, deviled eggs. I just want a little bit more respect on his name. They could have said two hundred. They could have at least said two hundred fifty dollars. They said EBT. Yeah, yeah no, they were purposely purposely yeah. trying to disrespect them. As it as it was it, intentional. As if this nigga Soldier Boy did. Nobody like, deserves that kind of disrespect. <laughs> for real, because right. we all know what it feel like. I don't, like that, that, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that kind of disrespect. The no, fact, I don't deserve that the kind of disrespect. That you, we would even, the fact that we would even still be bringing up Soulja Boy's name right now serves him more respect to that. The nigga sure. been producing his own beats. Niggas been making his own raps. Put niggas on. 
Like getting in the black business game, he got no, business. The little soldier boy is the nigga. I fuck that's with soldier. I mean, I feel you. Again, he's had his like you know his moments. Cause guess what? If you have a nigga moment and people can see that, they won't. Even the black community won't fuck with you. So it's like I've definitely seen him like off the shits yelling at his phone on live, <laughs> and it's like oh it's not God. a good look. So maybe niggas will be like, oh, you don't even have your shit together. Him and and like an EBT ass nigga. Like him and famous Dak. That's, that's that what perk a- thirty dick. Type shit. Him and uh, <laughs> him and actually, him and uh, Favis Dex is the fun, the funniest things I've ever seen on Instagram. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, I hate when, when niggas like, fight. Oh, I wanna um, beat your ass, nigga. Like, bro, I would hang up the phone. Yeah, <laughs> like Just what? Just stop I'm gonna talking. actually figure out where the fuck you at while you're still yelling at your phone. I'm gonna actually yeah. disconnect and pull up at your spot because <laughs> I thought that's what men did and didn't mm. yell at each other like this is. uh when Soldier did the uh, why I yada <laughs> when he did the uh, remember he did the Dra- remember he was did the uh, the Drake <laughs> Drake but like when no, he was, they tried to play they him. tried to play tried him, to play but him. like everything he said was true Soldier nice. was the first nigga I sir, first rapper I ever seen on the internet first time I ever put rap and internet together <laughs> it was Soldier Boy bathing eight I can't even yeah. think back that far to be honest. Like I remember, I remember I was in the teen club listening to so playing, getting turned up with Soulja Boy. I was at Zero Gravity. Teen clubs were always named shit like that. <laughs> you know, I literally I the shuddered a mean? little bit when you said <laughs> I was at Zero Gravity. I was at Zero Gravity listening to Soulja Boy. That was all the conversation when I was in school. People <laughs> co- t- constantly talking about it. You know, my parents weren't trying to let me go. So uh, I, I never, never, I never I got never, to go. I never experienced it. My parents were not going. I got my license. We was out chill. I'm just like, bro, I'm not trying to go to this spot and like figure out how I'm going to get alcohol and like be sober in this bitch with like broke ass niggas. I was trying to, I was trying to go to those and get a motherfucking hand job. Yeah, yo, I was trying to, I was trying to pop one. I was trying to put my finger in something. Fuck you talking about? Little nasty ass boys, boy. See, and that's what sucks. I was a kid. I was 17. I was, no, I was 17. Tell you, it makes me sad that y'all were like on that. That sound crazy. I was on that. Like, I, I was trying to. Uh, I mean, I wasn't like there like. <laughs> uh, <what can> I? <laughs> I did it too. <laughs> and I did it too. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> it is so funny. Yeah, who's going to be, who's gonna be I that? I definitely guy? don't mean any disrespect, but like growing up as a girl and growing up as a guy is completely different. So I totally get it. Because like whatever. Respect to, you know, my. My relationship, but like <laughs> we've had conversation with like my boyfriend telling me about like him fingering a girl that was like hella older than him or whatever, and I'm just like that is what guys are like at that time. Adolescent. That <laughs> <laughs> I saw you raise up your hand to your face. I knew that was you coming. Know I knew it was Nigga coming. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> But it's like respect to it because I didn't like I didn't grow up on that side. So like I, I get it, though, because like you're talking about adolescence when you're like dealing with your sexuality. Like, yeah, niggas are trying to figure out like, yo, like I'm not actually going to get the cat. But like <laughs> the cat I'm gonna is try crazy. To figure touch a titty. Yeah, to exactly. What are like, the hey, bases? Nah, Do you guys what is know the what the bases are? Because <laughs> I feel like actually men made up the bases. Because I promise you, oh, I've had bases. hella girlfriend conversations, and a lot of girls didn't even know which bases were which. The bases. And I'm like, did the guys just make it up? So tell me, what are first the bases? Ba- first base is make out. Starting lineup. Second base is hand job, finger pop. <laughs> Figure what? Yo, that's what. That's what. I never heard the extra word. He said the finger pop Uh, instead of the fingering. Third base is top, (laughs) and y'all know what home is. Wow. Clap. I used to be in that bitch. I used to be in that bitch trying to get numbers, boy. I had like five papers in my pocket, numbers. Oh my gosh, what a time! (laughs) Oh, bitch, you're right down here. Call me. Hey, hey, you got a pen? Hey, you got a pen, my boy? Bro, the lipstick and stuff, like whatever. I definitely pulled that one time in my adolescence. Like everyone saw, like that first movie that they saw where a girl wrote it down on mm-hmm. lipstick on the guy's arm. Mm. I did that one time. Every girl has probably done that one time because uh. they seen it in the movie. <laughs> like, fuck the paper, my nigga. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to write it on your body. I have my little phone. I, that, I don't think I had a little phone. So if it spills a beer on you and it's phone, dead. 16, 17. <laughs> in the underage club. <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell. 
Speaking about the kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> Segway. Y'all period. heard that new shrimp? That new shrimp dropped today. That's the only thing I listened to. I heard a song. I, I heard a song. It was hard. Yeah, it's all right. It's for the kids. I have a question: Is Jimmy bald now? I think he is. I think he is. No, low key. Like I have a theory about Slim Jimmy. Okay, because let's talk about it. Good, because I was gonna get there. I think that Shout since to Ray Shrimmer started, I think that Slim Jimmy is older than what he's talking about. Yes, I feel like he was like. I feel like he like thirty four. Yep. And lying about his yep. age. For I me. think so too. And I feel like he just always looked young and he's like shorter for uh, his age and he just rolled that shit like on some Shirley Temple. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's more marketable. Just because, like, exactly, I mean, watching... actually, because Sway Lee was whatever age he was and yeah, he didn't want to be like the old nigga next to him. But... Yeah. Because I'll be watching like interviews and, like, and his like. That's such a crazy conspiracy theory. Yeah, bro. it's a conspiracy. The way that he talks. Yeah, the way like, he talks. It's, yeah. it's just like a nigga trying to be young. Yeah, like, like, like a nigga trying to be young. There. He's like, no caps, sir. <laughs> I seen a picture, and I think it was him. I seen a picture of him and Suki. Is he bald? Like, is he bald for real? So in the mm. picture with Su- the only reason why I asked, I saw a picture with Suki, and she was like, "Oh yeah, ask Jimmy how much it cost to pay for X, whatever it was." She said the. Not for the cat or anything, but it was like pay for something like her car or something. Like it was like a service, but I was just like, "Is that Jimmy?" Like she didn't tag him, but it looked like Slim Jimmy, and he had a bald head. I was like, "Is that?" Yeah, because he definitely nigga? shaved this shit. Somebody pulled it in that motherfucker. Oh, not me. Take this out. <laughs> the bathroom is right there. Be easy. Be oh, easy. Love it. but uh, easy. no, but uh. Yeah, that's my like conspiracy theory. But the song is good. I'm I'm just waiting for Sway Lee to ascend to the GOAT. I feel like Sway Lee got the that got the talent. Yeah, for sure. To become what's it, the goat what's it hitting real. on? Like what uh, is the, I, I didn't listen to it. I so. listened to it a, a one time through. They got a uh they got a section in it. It was like two or three songs in the middle of the album that are kinda like kinda like uh like southern like too early 2000s like bopping music type shit like old hip hop type shit I don't know I, I kind of fuck hate, with it for real I literally hate the uh the go back or whatever you oh, want to so, call it I fucking it sounds like shit, like Florida bro. like I mean they from the south they from Mississippi so it's like a throwback to that type shit well, oh, it's not, like, so it's not like some like common ass like no, boom bap yeah no, that's no, no, what no, I'm no, saying no, no, cause no. that's what he was giving I'm like I hate when younger artists try to like hop back in that I can't even like, that shit is that's, not, what, that's not what I'm talking about literally Hold that up. more like freak nick type shit like, uh, okay. alright freak been doing nick that shit, pro- yeah niggas are still doing that yeah I, I could probably I could play a little bit of I feel like it. freak nick is not an era like people are still doing that they do that all the time they got shit like this she say she wanna fly I'm supposed to book it <laughs> nah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, I guess I don't hate it. Whatever, but, uh, I'm gonna take a listen. I, I Sway Lee could be the goat for real. So he get he be having so he be having yeah. some like little like cadences and lines and shit that I'll be like, damn, this shit is so fucking hard, yo. Bro, I always remember and I will always go all the way back to reality check. Okay? Mm. <laughs> Reality check was so hard. I think that was like the very first pot, like very first week we did the podcast. Who I think I opened reality, reality check. check. I gotta check her reality. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check to see if she's doing better than me. Yeah, oh. I gotta check it on. I gotta check it on my ex to make sure she's not doing better than me. Oh my <laughs> gosh, this is powerful. Fuck, you know he wrote um uh, he wrote formation for Beyonce. Yeah, I think he told me that. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with Sway. I feel like you can. I fuck with Jimmy too. Jimmy can rap. Things. Jimmy can really yeah. rap for real. Yeah, no yeah. disrespect. His voice on, is ill uh, too. Uh, Slim Jimmy. It was just like, damn, bro. Like, I promise you, I feel like you are lying about your agent. And it's like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Get it how you live. But, like, <laughs> it's definitely something like, qua- like, I'm an old soul, but, like, that nigga mm-hmm. might be, like, older for me. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Also, Ray Sherry, sure, if y'all have if y'all want to see something hard, go on YouTube and look at their Tim Westwood freestyle. Oh like, yeah, from like it's from like six, seven years ago, but Perry it's so it fucking before. hard for real. Perry has played that for me eight hundred times. I feel like I even before I was on the pod proper when I got on, I definitely talked about it at that time because that's when Perry was running it back crazy and went to hear it all the time. It's actually so fucking hard. So I definitely I also recommend it even if you don't listen to them like that. They fucking killed that shit and I wish somebody would say yeah, that cool. they were rapping watch, their asses off mm-hmm. cause they were and they're so tapped into each other I love yeah. seeing that partnership it was great did y'all watch the Dreamville 
festival last weekend? I watched some. Uh, I watched a little bit of JID set. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched like whatever clips I could find. It looks, yeah, it looks sick. I want me and Evan wa- yesterday watched the uh, the whole J Cole Drake. That shit was hard for real. Not so if y'all don't know, uh, Dreamville yeah. Fest was last weekend in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, yeah, J. Cole, J. Cole did his thing for it. He had Usher on that motherfucker, all the Dreamville. Bunch of people, but Drake was the headliner. It was J. Cole and Drake doing a, doing a set together. But it really wasn't a set together. J. Cole played all his songs first, and then Drake played all his songs. But he was playing the deep cuts for real. Oh, yeah, the, the, the uh, B-side. Yeah, he started. He was playing like, he played over. Remember that shit? Till yeah. it's over, but it's yeah. far from over. He played that shit. Classic. He was playing, he was playing shit off the, his very first album and shit for real. I see. Yeah. It was so like I didn't even think he was gonna do. He was doing it for real. I'm like, yeah, this nigga. And then he brought out uh first he brought out um Glorilla to do a song. Then he brought my nigga Uzi out. Period. Love that nigga. Uzi, Love bro. that. Talk Shout about like a, a little Uzi vert. Talk about like an a instant burst of like serotonin in my brain. For real. <laughs> yeah, okay, for sure. And that yeah. nigga come on the screen. I'm just like, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he don't even rap. He don't even got a rap. Yeah. He just dance. <laughs> he just dance exactly. I just love so, it yeah. because Lil Uzi is definitely like multifaceted. I don't know. I fucking love with him. He's like literally a performer. Yeah. He's yeah. an entertainer through and through. Yeah. So like it gives him a powerful presence as like a rapper because you know that he's like a performer. He's like an entertainer. Yeah. So like even if the the bars don't hit you, like whatever his raps are like dry to you, like you're going to be entertained. And I really appreciate that. Like yeah. people being multifaceted so mm-hmm. they like they can't fail yeah, when I they see, get on stage. Facts. I seen a video of this nigga Uzi this week doing tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> He's like living our 16 year old lives. Yeah. Like, it's all right, bro. I'm going to let you have it because you're younger than me. But it's also like, I really love it because, it, yeah, he's like. He's having a fucking blast with he life. He's having real. a blast. And I can't. I love the music and I cannot yeah. hit on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're doing sure. all of the shit. I'm reliving my uh, 16 year old self through all the shit he's doing. Literally, yeah, yeah. spikes and fucking trip pants. Like, yeah. let's talk about and it. And then he brought out a. Uh, after Uzi, he brought Wayne out for two songs. Oh, Wayne shit. came That's out. Crazy. out. They started playing on Millie. I was like, no. Yes. Facts. Yeah, that nigga Wayne is really the the best like He's live performer. The best live performer I've ever seen. Like the breath control this nigga got is yep. insane. Uh, yeah. Cause breath. it'll sound exactly like that shit. Ain't and no, then, uh extra. The breath shit. control, yeah, that's a that's like the that's a huge fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, and yo. the nigga be moving. Yeah. He be doing hella shit on the For stage. Sure. Like I feel like it's like like not to be like that, but like small nigga shit. I promise you. <laughs> yeah. You know uh, what I'm Kel- saying? Like big niggas be too uh I was like, slow <laughs> footed or whatever. <laughs> Kel like, like Uzi is light on his feet, yeah. so is Wayne. Kel not to be like, like that, uh, but Kale's like uh what, uh, Drake only brought people out shorter than five six. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, then you know he brought twenty one out at the end and yeah, shit. Yeah, of course, yeah. that's sick. But yeah, I was in, I was definitely impressed. Like he was he was playing like because normally when I I go to shows and I see big artists, like I just expect him to play their new shit and whatever. He was yeah. really going into the deep cuts for real. Oh yeah, hell yeah, for sure. I mean, you got to. He's yeah. like not a regular artist. Like, <laughs> yeah, what? you can't just like oh. I mean, maybe I don't, he maybe knows. He, can, but he like, knows though. Like he knew what you know. He actually, knew what he was fuck the new shit because guess what? If I run back the old shit, they finna click on the new shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, that's true. how Wayne be running. In for sure Cause we 100%. all clicked on that shit And we're like Yup Wayne still got it <laughs> <laughs> Bro like It's crazy like I've been hearing like All the things They've been talking about like Versus and shit And they was talking about 50 Cent and Wayne Against each other And I'm How? like I gotta go Wayne 100% What do you but mean But like is that a proper uh I don't know I mean cause really? they both artists They both artists from the From the early 2000s And they prime well, it's hard to it's hard but to decide. I feel like they should pick an old nigga. I don't know when did because respect because I don't know anything about Fifty, 50 came said. out. The first he time I heard out? Fifty had to be like oh two. First time I heard how 50. old was he? Wayne? Oh, that was like yeah. Oh, because yeah, Wayne sure. has been rapping since he was Before like that, fourteen. Like how to rob? Yeah, how to rob and shit. So it's like, what was Fifty Cent doing at that time? Where he come out when he was like twenty something? Because Wayne's been well, rapping was for in the, like the Fifty longest. was in the streets. 
He got shot but nine see, times. That that has nothing to do with what we talking about. I'm just about saying him. that's what he was doing when Wayne was rapping. That's what Fifty was doing. You ain't never. I, ain't, I I'm just. You're saying. muddling up the question. I'm by not muddling. talking about I just the street. You asked me what he was doing. That's what he was doing. He wasn't no, rapping. No, no. So he wasn't. That's it. Yeah, he wasn't. That's why he would probably one up. But that's why I also feel like it's uh. But we just talking about hits though. Like it's things that Wayne can play. I like. Like I don't but versus Fifty Cent. That shit. I mean, Fifty crazy. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that matches up. For it doesn't crazy. seem like it matches up for like the I don't know. Like during the time, wasn't Wayne younger than Fifty Cent? I think they probably about they probably got to be around the same age. For real. Fair enough. Again, I don't know much about Fifty Cent to even uh, make the comparison proper, but it does seem kind of weird. <laughs> I think it is like because it's hard to put somebody up against Wayne for real. That's the only one, like that's the only, one of the only niggas I think that would that was on the same plane as him. You feel me? Yeah, I, guess I don't know. That, it still sure. keeps, seems kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Wayne but, uh, cared more about like the delivery. He's still talking about the streets, but like cared more about the delivery and like Fifty Cent and then like respect because like I love New York. I lived there for a second, but like sometimes niggas would literally rap in a New York way and get a. I don't want to say get away with it, but like Wayne, like whatever, like New Orleans, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like there was a way that Fifty Cent was trying to make it regardless because New York. Nah, Fifty. Do you that, feel me? Nah, because when that gets you don't hear trying. me at all though. Like I, when I, I, mean, I, I you I, understand my, where I'm coming. I understand from? where you're coming from, but like I don't think you heard Get Rich or Die Trying like that for real. I, I didn't fuck with fucking <laughs> cause that album. Because it was like, just giving like some Perfect. street shit. Like it would be That's, Fifty Cent <laughs> against Jeezy. No, no, Fifty got Jeezy easy. Like it, That's easy. insane. No, hundred percent. Don't listen to Fifty Cent. Fifty has Jeezy in like his mixtape. Yeah, easy, and, easy. And, and, and Fifty's mixtape era is like you know like the iceberg theory of like just seeing the tip. Yeah, just the tip. Like Fifty. Like mainstream career is like a fucking like the iceberg sticking out. Yeah, cause like I fucked with Power of a Dollar and shit. I fucked with like the G when it radios. Yeah, like G when it radio. Like my nigga. What do you think Fifty Cent would body Jeezy? Easy, easy. Well, actually, I don't want to say that on wax like that, bro, because I didn't even listen to Jeezy like that, and I definitely said that before. Yeah. But when I think of like when we talk about power rap. Mm-hmm. It's like damn, Jeezy is definitely giving me something. I've never even given Fifty Cent the chance. No, you gotta I, like, get. I, I could. I, look, look, you gotta like, start Jeezy's off. Not even really a rapper compared to Fifty Cent. To me. Yeah, because you know, Fifty get really, bars. No, Fifty's really like rapping, rapping. And mm-hmm. like, G, like Jeezy to me is almost more of like a pop star. Like he's debatably singing everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's like yeah, because it's more melodic. It's like trap. Oh, okay, okay. I guess I get that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bring it back to Wayne though. Oh That's yeah, really we, just, what we were talking. About. Yeah, we were talking about Dreamville Fest. Yeah, the, uh, I and then he, of the, course uh, he brought out Twenty One Savage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't fuck with J Cole though. I did. I, this, I have that whole Dreamville shit on my fucking Apple. Music, look, I keep like. telling y'all, yo, like <laughs> it was a time in my life that like one of my favorite things to do was talk shit about J Cole. I used to love saying that J Cole I was feel born like everyone did. and he fucking sucked. But and I'm like, not coming I, from there. No, I'm bro. just saying, but like that was one of my favorite things to do on the internet was troll niggas for like J. Cole until For Your Eyes Only came. For Your Eyes came out and I was like, wow, he really is the truth. Yeah. It's J. just Cole like I can only I don't know. And like whatever, if I come full circle in my life, like you there's will. so much male energy around me. Like I'm very specific about the music that I listen to. Mm-hmm. Because you guys already know I don't, like, listen to, like, female artists like that. Respect, like, I don't even mean to, but, like, whatever. I'm used to male energy. It's just, like, certain male energies, like, I'm good off of. And sometimes you can feel it through their music. Like, I will be all right not, like, I'm not missing, like, as I live, I'm not missing anything listening to J. Cole. I don't have no hate, but, like, I'm absolutely not listening like that because I have heard songs and I'm like, okay, we got to change this. And it'll be, like, close to the end of the song. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And that's, like, if if that's how I feel, 
It's just being real. I'm de- I, you no, can't I feel just you. like automatically fuck because he has um a cult following too. No, I understand. You can't just automatically I understand. Be like, oh my god, because I you. That's what I'm trying go. to tell you. I understand because I used to be on. That's what I used to say. Yeah, I used to say that, and then I was like, damn. I he. definitely gave it a chance, bro. I had an unfavorable ex that definitely like I have like I, like I'll jokey make you a jokes. I have jokey jokes in my head of like sayings with J Cole's name. To like make it like a funny thing that are in my head. I'm like, oh, I didn't even do that. That's because of the nigga I was dating did that. So like I have this, but I like, I, I have Dreamville. That shit is still on my fucking Apple mm. music. Like I listen to the whole thing. There's one song that I really fuck with, but like, yeah, I listen to a lot of it. I'm just like, it's just not my no, way. Like, no, I'll put you on some, I'll put you on some coal. I'll yeah, definitely put yeah, you on and for we'll real. tap back into this too because Perry at least knows what I need to listen to. But like, I have like a a short attention span for this shit, and it's just like, all right, if it's like this, like I'm good on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm still just trying to listen to like Young Thug's music so I can fucking <laughs> uh, save him from prison. So I listen to him all day <laughs> and hope the streams go back. Oh well, shit. I got some. I got some shit for y'all to listen to, man. Oh yeah, you need to play that Roy Kenzie. Yeah, that's what I'm finna play. That's what I'm finna play. Podcast alumni Roy Kenzie. Because let's really talk about it, okay? Because what an amazing person, okay? Yeah, Roy. Roy dropped the project today. It's four songs. Was it four songs? Yeah, it's yeah, a four it's track. Four. It's on Bandcamp. Uh, but like, if y'all ain't tapped in with Roy, tap in. Oh on my him. gosh, because he different for real. He like the nigga really rap for real. Yes, and, and has so impeccable amazing. taste. Impeccable taste, and just like, like wow. Yeah, if like the best words was a and person. I could, and <laughs> what I I say about Roy is that like. Uh, Cause I met him. We really met when he was on the podcast. Like when we first sure. started the podcast, Roy and was I one was of our first. And I was taken aback then. And how long ago was that? This yeah, this all two two almost three years ago. Yeah, he was he one was of our on first guests. He was I on the pod, you. and like that's when yeah. I tapped into his music and shit. And like it made me as an artist want to like portray myself more honest. You know what I'm saying? Like believe in like what I I actually am. Like the nigga like take really like t- take. Real shit and just like you know what I'm saying. He not scared to be himself on the record. Absolutely. And he made me think like, damn, dude, why do why do why I don't need to do that either? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm I could just be who I'm is on the record. Yes. So yeah. And Roy, yeah, shout out to you, and also always supporting straight back. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to go to the show. Yeah, for sure. I fucking tweet, Jimmy. You went, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I Jimmy filmed even. it. I can't even be outside like that with the job. Yeah, I'm going to play the intro track off of it. It's called Stay Dangerous. It's featuring Mute and uh, produced by uh, Mike Jones. Shout out Mike Jones. That nigga go hard for real. <laughs> yes, sir. That that new, new Roy Kenzie going stupid for real. Shout out to Roy. I fucking yeah, love shout. you. And thank you for supporting me as I support you. Because he supports my art too. And yeah. I love that. Hell yeah. Fantastic rapper. My bad, y'all. I had to... I had to pee extra bad. <laughs> no, I, had like to get, I had to get out of here. <laughs> it'd be it'd like that so tough. Yeah. It's okay. You know, we're going to hold it down. Yeah, potty time is always there. Yeah. You come first. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Like I t- said, I'm sick of you niggas, man. <laughs> niggas out here. I, I know everybody's seen a thing about it's one point. They said it's 1.3 million men surgeries. Plastic surgery procedures last year. Niggas getting all sorts of plastic surgery procedures, man. And I'm not mad at niggas for trying to look the way they want to look at. You got the money, pay the money. But my thing is that, like, niggas, be, niggas is getting shit that, like, you could get if you worked out. Exactly. Yeah, same thing with women, though. So no, like, but it be different. It, it, it do be kind of different. It's not. It's not. Because, look, not. your titties ain't never going to get no bigger. You know what I'm saying? Your lips... That's your lips. So like you, they doing. I feel like they doing shit that like they're not, and that's the thing though. Because there's things that I've even said like it's hard. It's a hard concept to swallow. But like there's things that I've said like even the last thing that I said about like sex workers like oh yeah the male stripper versus the female stripper like <laughs> it's almost versus. kind of because it's almost like kind of the same thing. Like I'd be like oh yeah a male doing that thing like it's so hard and I could talk so much shit. You talking about. Think about it. Like, so I'm going to break it down. 
you're talking about a male going to get plastic surgery to make their body look like something that they could do if they just worked out. Think about that, bro. That's what a fucking BBL is, bro. That was literally bitches that took like nah, they the be- shortcuts to not building <laughs> that maybe, body. Maybe like, making why it- wouldn't men be able to do the same thing? Like, they should be able to do the exact same thing. Fuck it. Bitches have blown their asses out too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I was say, like putting so, concrete in the cheeks. Bro, they've literally done every, even the Fix girls who flat. had the nah, illegal man. butt cheeks. Just know if y'all don't know those illegal butt cheeks, the, the illegal butt injections, they literally can't even get that shit removed. Like they have to like live life like that and if they ever have a medical issue with them being in there they have to go to a doctor to just get treated for that there's no reducing that there's no dissolving that like if you think that your lips are too big and you just dissolve it they literally have like ass like that forever that's why black china you know she's saved now yeah she can't get (laughs) she took out her breast implants and she dissolved all of her filler in her face and shit and got her cheek implants taken out but like her ass is literally just going to be the same because she was in that wave of when women could literally not wait until, I guess, when people are getting legal BBLs to, like, go get that shit. So they have illegal ass shots, and uh, you cannot yeah, dissolve they, that. Yeah, I, seen a, uh, I see a documentary about that shit. Uh, was, uh, my Strange so Addiction. Was, they was, I don't know what it was. They was pumping all sorts of shit in girls' ass. Yeah, but that's what was, I'm saying. It was My so, Strange Addiction. Was it? So bring yeah. it back to what you were saying, though. Sorry to go so off topic. No, I Bring it back, bro, because... I feel you know, Talk about I, it. I'm, I'm just on some like it? guys can get like abs and shit, right? Niggas getting their abs sketched. They got dick enhancements. Yeah, Bitches will literally have that ass that you're like, damn. No. Nah. Like what? They went and, and got that. Getting, so when niggas get niggas that, niggas get calf implants and but shit. But when a bitch is like, oh my god, like I love that 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 gym nigga. Like, <laughs> oh. like gym oh, nigga. you got that like six pack and shit. Like What's if a nigga happen? got that and he's got I, the money, so he's look. Nigga, nigga get that shit at what? At what? 30, 32 but years old or some shit like that. that. Listen, and a then you get, getting and a then, BBL at 32. And then you, listen fuck? to me. Listen, and then you gain that little bit of weight when you hit your 40s and your stuff. You just got an abs. A like, girl what? with a You BB- just got an abs sheet just floating on your big ass stuff. You, you got to, <laughs> So, with all yeah, of these. Yeah, man, you got, you, if you do you that. You just got a six pack of abs floating on your big ass stomach. Just know, as a woman, like you have a what more, did Kelly say? The, uh, the waffle iron to have. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Niggas are stuck a thing in your stomach, and now you can't uh, even really move. Let go of my ego, hey, bro. Nigga, wait, do some sit ups, nigga. This is, <laughs> crunches, wait, nigga. Dude, like what? you literally, I promise you, because you know I'm so equal in this shit. Like really queer as fuck. Like both sides equal as fuck. Like everything you're saying right now. Like oh my god. Like as a am woman, I loud? But, bro, it's almost like because you're not tapped into, like, plastic surgery. Like, I never really wanted it like that except for, like, you know, my boobs or whatever. We're not going to talk about that. But, like, <laughs> it just as, like, a female, I feel like a lot of women know about plastic surgery. Whether they've gotten it or not, a lot of them know about it. And it's, like, it's so crazy to hear you talk about it like that. Like, as if they're not allowed because, like, a girl got that, that washboard stomach and, like, that fat ass that dudes like right now. They went and yeah. got that done. So, like, you're looking at this dude who wouldn't get calf implants and, like, a chiseled ass abs, like, whatever they do for that, to get the girl who loves an athletic and athletic nigga. And but guess what? What, what if saying. he was fat his entire life? Does he have the same thing as a girl who's always been big and she finally got her bread to get her body done? A nigga can just do that, but then it's like it's a thing because it's like it's a guy. But niggas have definitely like bust down girls who have gotten their bodies done. And it's like I see some scar, but it's like it's whatever. That shit look good as fuck. But it's like, oh, a guy can't get that off. Why? Because of a gender. Uh, just know that that's the only reason. Uh, Think about it. Think about it. Make it, it make sense, dude. It is. Girls made their abs. I mean, I feel that. Girls like, have a fat ass and made their abs. It's That's like exactly. Yeah. What it's we're like just like about. Black Boy Niggas JB said. Is you strong though? <laughs> you look but like bro, you strong, but you, are you really you strong? Even, <laughs> and let us be canceled, bro. Because you know some. You can't look like you strong and you not really strong. So, <laughs> what some 
<laughs> girls will get their butt done and they can't even move it. So like, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You like, can't. You gotta be able to lift as much as you look like you lift. Whatever. We can't talk about this forever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's only been five. This is like a. a yeah, I hope I just try to it's, cut it short just so that we don't drown Nate out. With I mean, her. you're not. It's just like me and Perry start yeah. going back and forth, and we can really do that, and nah, we will never do that to y'all. Nah, <laughs> but like, yo, tell me. But nah, like for real, like, bro, I I get like both points for real, but it's just like when it comes to dudes, like Perry is like not totally wrong. It's like <laughs> you can go to the gym. And it's like, but like a girl know, could like, too. So you don't look at the girl they be who making, was fat in girl. high school. But they yeah. be making unreal. And then she went and got the BBL, and she could have just worked out. She could have just joined. They be, the, they be making. No, they mean, be making imaginary asses, like asses that don't really exist in and nature. They make imaginary they, asses because like because had a booty because like, like the ratio. You know the leg ratio. Is girl go but crazy leg? Making, you just said. Calf I don't even like that. You just said calf implants. For the guy, so switch. You gotta switch it back oh. and forth so quick, so it can be like so you can understand the comparison. Right when you start saying something about a girl, like switch it back to the guy, like oh the calf implants, like that's crazy. But like a girl who likes a muscular, like athletic dude, like wishes like he could really pump fake, like he played uh, baseball <laughs> all in college and shit. Yeah, and he's got yeah. these crazy ass fucking calves, and yeah. he went and got that. Just like a bitch, sometimes surgery be looking right. A nigga would smash and be like, I didn't even know. It's just yeah. like it's been. A, it's just a new breed of niggas. It's gonna be a new how, breed of yeah. surgery. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's I think, a new I think breed just, of person. Just like how no, you I, I, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. Like uh, I feel like men too do like deal with like you know body like standards for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, for like, real. You know, I think we all have insecurities for real. Like, yep, you know and when I mean? they get their money together, and it's just like why not? I don't know, like. Of course, I have insecurities like, damn, I'm not like ripped or, you know, whatever like that. But like, would y'all ever know. do it's that shit? Like, I just feel like women go through it tougher. Yeah, it's different for women. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of society. But see, like, as us, as men, like, saying. Absolutely. That. But see, as me as an empath and like, whatever, mm -hmm. any woman can really flame me right now because a lot of women don't hear me. My camp is a lot of male, but like I promise you, I prosper in this because the growth, okay? Because I'm dealing with men that are very like sympathetic to women. Like, not everyone that like everyone is so scared about or like, how, oh, you hang out with hella niggas. Like, there must be. But I'm like, I'm literally with like the most compassionate men that I could only hope for. Like, I love my camp and like they're very sympathetic and understanding, but still male. So, like, you know, they'll trip up and stuff like that. But, like, I have such a narrative now because I have both sides because I stay with them. But, yeah. No. What if I walked in this bitch and I was tall? Wait. <laughs> I have to give. I have to give. The guys, crazy. What if I walked in this space, and I was, I was six five. But you're allowed to feel like how you want to feel, though. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because guess what? <laughs> it's hard out here and that's what i'm saying like it's hard out here and i understand the male perspective like a guy no, dating I... like i'm in a relationship right now and i'm a female and i'm on the other side but a guy dating right now who's my age like i'm hearing those kinds of stories and i'm mm. like yo that shit is actually fucked up for real no it, like yeah, the standards <laughs> of a regular average person who kind of looks good to you is expecting so much sometimes when you're a male and no one ever talks about that so guys have those insecurities too because yeah, like yeah. bro a girl is not finna fuck with me because like i don't look like this yeah, so like I, guys yeah. will feel all fucked up like that just like a girl's like oh I have this and I don't have a fat ass let me go get it I mean just, do, it's the same way I do, I do feel like um, do what you gotta do to like you know feel confident and, mm -hmm. but like I mean I don't know I guess it's like us as dudes kind of just like you know yeah. about certain things but like like if a, if a dude got like a a dick uh, <laughs> they doing that it's like, why do that unless you're in porn? I, I, I get that. The it, only people... I didn't even know you could really get that they shit. They got that now. They got the dick enlargement now. Niggas gonna start walking around thinking they... Thinking they Thor, for real. 
I didn't know yeah, Thor had a piece. Co- get your corn. Yeah, I was just saying it the is hammer. Sus, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't give a Fair fuck enough. about Thor the hammer. I'm gonna fuck about what y'all talking about. I need to see the Yelp reviews on this shit, bro, because I need to see what the female. I say the feeling uh, about that because what is he giving? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because oh, it looked big. Like what the fuck? Not, like what is it doing? <laughs> That's what I said. Like, are you really strong? <laughs> Why are we just, always on nasty time? Oh, dude, I hate this. No, they get that shit. I see the uh, clip of Friday night, bro. We I see the West Side. I seen a clip of uh, always face value after dark. Like I said, this shit was all on Instagram this back. week, and uh, I seen crash. Gilly and Wallow. They had a skit. I mean, it wasn't even a skit. They had a video that uh, Wallow called the plastic surgery place for the dick enhancement. They were like, "Yeah, you know, it's a simple procedure. We do like two or three a week." <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, it's just Two like, or three. Uh, I don't want it to be like Not an exact this. number. Let me look at the time. I don't want it to be this conversation, but it's it's really like I would just want to really, you know, all jokes aside, really understand how the female feels about it because it was always a thing. Like, I promise you, like, sympath to, like, the dude with the little whatever because it's like you couldn't, you can't change that. So, like, why is anyone clowning you about that? Like, I hate bullying and stuff like that. Like, I hate it when girls would talk about that. Because guess what? That nigga can't even change that. Like, he <laughs> yeah. didn't come out like that. Yeah. So, like, it sucks for you to just... I hate when girls do that. Because, like, they literally can't change that. Now, what yeah. you just said I'll just changed say, my funny. whole it's narrative. Just funny. I didn't like... Like, oh, shit. It's a real thing. That. It's 2023 for right. real. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, I'm cool with that. Because you can change... I mean, that's something you can't change. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's if anyone, like, I'm cool with it. If any one of these surgeries I'm cool with, it's the dick enlargement. I would definitely get that shit if I had the bread. That shit probably cost like. Why? <laughs> that shit is ill. Okay. No, it probably be. That is a I feel like you would probably question. lose. I feel like you would probably lose like sensitivity. I probably don't. I don't want to slice my shit. <laughs> Next topic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they said it's happening. They said they freezing niggas' bodies now. For 20 oh, bands. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, I, I was reading this thing this week and it was talking about you can freeze, like for 20 bands, you can, like, once you die, you can, like, freeze your body for, like, 20 bands, for real. For what? For, like, when they figure out and see if they can reanimate you or shit. It, but that's the thing. You could either freeze it before you die, like, when you on your death bed, and they said that shit costs 100 bands. Wow. But you, just, but you could just still just freeze your dead body, for real. That's crazy. Yeah, they have hella so movies. So you could try I to come see. back. I'm so, so I see. Many movies about this. Have you guys seen Vanilla Sky? Yeah. Like, yeah. That was literally like the thing that Tom Cruise is trying to do. Like well, the or like uh, Futurama. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. yeah, there's hella storylines that go along that. I just like don't know. I don't know why. Like, like I don't even know. I don't know what it's like to be that rich, you know what I'm saying? To be like, to throw your money around and be like, oh yeah, what if? Because like, that's such a strong what if. Because it's like, would you even really want that? Like, you're talking so far in the future. Would yeah, you like, really want like, that? I, I, yeah, right. Do so I really want- far. Like, what if you really just wanted to die? And you just, just, like, yeah, yeah, you just And you reanimated out. your body like, fuck. You just came back and it was lounge for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. And it was like, like yeah, Pet like Cemetery. dystopian, <laughs> like Mad Max, like. like Have so, you guys seen Pet Cemetery? Oh, uh, you just cut, yeah, or you don't come back, right? <laughs> you come back, crazy. come back bogus for real. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wrong with him. He look crazy. <laughs> you like eating people? Like eating cats. It's like a bite of cat. <laughs> 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 this nigga like looking crazy. What is he talking about? Oh yeah, my gosh. I don't know if I would even. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I don't even know if I want to be here like that for real. I feel like niggas didn't die for for thousands and thousands I'm of years. Niggas didn't die. It ain't I'm nothing gonna bad. Say one thing, and I might sound like a crazy person. I actually hate when I hear things like this because I feel like it's like news when it comes out, and they like try to sprinkle it off to like the civilians. Because like that's why I said I've never been that rich. Because I was really trying to think about like oh things to do, and like if I had nothing else to do, like. Being that rich, that's like a certain caliber of person. They're not even seeing the same news as us. And like to sprinkle these little things about like going to space, like things that we don't (laughs) tangibly have. I literally hate that because I feel like it's a little like sprinkle of like rich people. Like just, oh, what? 
or yeah. will they talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. things that they'll never be able to do. Like, Just bro, about freeze that my body, happen. go to Mars. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, all right. <laughs> I feel like, would you even like? Why would I even want to be alive? But that's that? what I'm saying because we don't even have the con. But that's why I'm like, are it's the like, rich people laughing at us? Because uh, they're just like, oh, they will never. I mean, but like, we already have our tickets. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's how it always is. For exactly. Real. That's the most conceited shit to be like. No, yeah, for real. Is. But assume yeah. that they're like that. Like they dead, wipe their ass. I mean, I already know that because I already told you. Like, why is billionaires still getting money? It's something they get money for. Yeah, yeah. They not just fucking niggas over. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking uh, niggas uh, over uh, for like uh, just. You already got billions of dollars. We like, won't you know, get shut down. They trying to get comment. some other shit. It's some shit niggas save it up for. No, what did they save real. it up for? People be yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> and only our children, children, children will know. But whatever. Yeah, that's crazy. What else is happening in the world? I'm sorry, you guys. Shit, we got the hotline. The face value hotline uh, is yeah. open, man. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely was like wait clowning Perry about it. But then my boyfriend thought it was cool and I was like, ah oh, shit. I think it's great. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then we already got <laughs> Oh, we already got one, and I was like, "Oh shit!" New segment lit. in the show, yo. Y'all could hit us up, man, on y'all phone, man. Hit Please us eight seven two. Please give us a call because it's actually way funnier, and I love the yeah. creativeness of yeah. it. Like. Hell yeah, you could call, call on your phone eight seven two two three nine five six four zero, and leave us a voicemail, man. Let us know what y'all thinking for real. Oh my gosh, we just launched this shit uh, yesterday and shit. We got one. Hey, spell you hotline. Okay, period. I'm definitely uh two questions. One, what's y'all favorite pop punk song on the pod? <laughs> two, can any of y'all motherfuckers play space? Three, not a question. If Maddie did that, fuck the op. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shout out to the boy no. Maddie did that. What? Always on bread. Oh my god! What's the first? What's the first I question? So yeah, much, that, what's our favorite pop punk song? Favorite pop punk song? But did he say on the pod after that? That's what threw he me. He want off. us to talk about it on here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he meant on, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> uh, pop punk, like yeah. I suck at genres. So Perry, I'm, break it down and like. Yeah, I'm a huge. You guys can't answer, and I'll be like. I've always been a huge new newfound glory fan. Uh. That tip of the iceberg, that was my okay, shit. I fuck with New Found Glory. When I was a kid. Also, like, what else do I fuck with pop punk? Like, dagger mouth. What, what is considered pop punk? I just Pop punk is just what, like, like... What are the bands? Like, like that Blink-182. Blink-182. Oh, okay. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'll wait till Green my day. turn. Because I'm going to say Four Blink-182. But, like, yeah. you go. I'm sorry. I just don't know how to put these bands. I listen I'm going to say, my shit. favorite pop punk artist got to be New Found Glory, for real. I fuck with them heavy. I I I don't. I used say to heavy, love that tip of the iceberg. It's a really good. And album. then they got the international superheroes of hardcore on the B side. That was my <laughs> shit. <laughs> or yeah, yeah. Nate, what about you? Um, I know one of them is Jaded by Green Day. Mm. I did um, not like Green Day. I did. I like Dookie. Sure. Yeah, that's that yeah, was that was on there. Dude, Ooh, he, when I come around, it's like they lived and died in my mm-hmm. life. I felt like before I could ever take them serious, mm-hmm. they like were in my face. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then they died <laughs> because I was so late on Dookie that I was just like, oh fuck, like this oh. is whack. Like oh shit, every time I every time I look for you by Blink One Eighty Two. Blink-182 is man. definitely me. Yeah. All of that. I yeah. couldn't even tell you a song. Fuck, I can mm. tell you a few songs, but Blink-182 for me. Yeah. Fuck. My um, pop my, my pop punk shit is like like 2010. Like yeah. a day to remember type I shit. I wish I could oh, say. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can start naming off shit, and you have to tell me if it's pop punk. Or um, uh, Hawthorne Heights. Nah. Uh, um, hit the lights. Um, yeah, hit the lights. That's my favorite pop punk shit. I never fucking uh, hit the oh shit. <laughs> nah. It's more upbeat. It's more, you know what I'm saying? Like Silver Scene? Nah. Nah. Uh, Silver Scene did rock though. I'm so bad at this. We talking like set your goals. Yeah. Or we're talking like like Finch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not even no Finch. Way. You wanna say Finch? Yeah. Nah, was, nah, not even Finch. Ooh, no cigar by Mill and Colin. That was another one. 
It was yeah, on uh, I, Tony. I Rock, probably yeah. don't even know this avenue, and that's yeah. probably where my disconnect is. Because you guys are in a fellowship. I'm like, wow, I'm fucking. Yeah. <laughs> and I promise you, I listen to everything. It was like, like when what? Get, Do I have to say, like, this fucking the, panic at the disco? Like, fuck my life. <laughs> I mean, you could. I yeah, mean, you could say panic. Ew, abs- a but I don't listen boy. to the. I don't listen to either, though. This the, is this the season for that shit, too. With springtime, when it first started getting warm. I'll put on a pop no. punk shit. No, I'm happier. Happier than I that. I never knew happier than that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise you. So dark. Blink 182 is probably the happiest shit that I was listening to. If oh, yeah. A thousand percent. Best pop punk man. Yeah. That was definitely the happiest like, shit. Like, or happiest sounding. Some Alien Ant yep. Farm. That's like the early. That's like the 2000. I listened to uh, some 41, but I didn't listen to Alien Ant Farm. That shit was giving uh, Eminem and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and are you okay? <laughs> no. I, I fucked with it. I fucked with uh, They had a they second single. They had movies. movies. That yeah. was hard. Movies is sick. Movies is a mega track. I was bro. already. If people already rubbed me one way, like I never went <laughs> and checked back. Like, oh, that's what fair. else? <laughs> what like else? Alien F farm. I didn't check. Like, oh, what else uh, you got? I, I was like, I'm F-Farm. good. Uh, same. Or oh, I like Scotty doesn't know. That might be my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, I hate how that sounds. What? Scotty doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, I Scotty know. doesn't know. I literally hate. <laughs> what movie was that from? Uh, yeah, it's in a road movie trip. Uh, Euro trip. Work. No, it was road trip. It's oh, it's Euro trip. trip. Yeah. It's Euro uh, trip. Well, yeah. I hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how that song sounds. Yo, uh, a late '90s, early uh, aughts teen movie always had the illest pop punk. Yeah, track. yo, that was the air for they did, yeah, American did Pie. When, yeah. uh, when the band got on stage, you'd be like, "Damn!" Wow. Yeah, they was always the kill. They had all the killer pop punk shit. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah American yeah. Pie. Uh, remember the uh, the uh, this is so crazy. They like uh, use the uh, webcam. Yeah, they bogus as hell. That's so crazy. Cool. Yeah, that is so wild, right? Wait, That's yo. the thing. It's dated. It's a dated movie. Uh, on yo. American Pie, where he uh, he was about to had cl- the secret webcam on on Shorty. Was she in the yeah. room? Him and Nadia. He had like the uh, he had the webcam that was like that everybody in the school like. Got a hold of. Oh yeah, and then emailed it. Yeah, you'll go to jail for yeah. that shit. Oh, yeah. Nigga. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna say something. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know you guys were talking about this. Yeah, the, yeah. that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. go to that jail would never for that shit. Now. Now. Cause he he hooked up with like the hottest like girl in the school. Yeah, and, she was like, yeah, and she touched him. He busted twice. Yeah. That's crazy. They don't make movies like that. I mean, I guess they do. I guess like now they got Euphoria. Yeah. That's. Euphoria, yeah, but like for us, was American you, Pie. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine you, someone touching your arm and then but you just. Somebody, what they'll give you right now is like real sex. I feel like. <laughs> Shout out oh to that my show, gosh, man. I feel so lame. I'm sorry, you guys. Not I've been at smoking all. a lot of weed. But if I'm really thinking about this, it's like. If I think about how, like. Society has taken on sexuality. Mm-hmm. It's like so, when we were younger, it was way easier to make jokes about sex than just doing it. Right now, when you just said it, it just like clicked in my head because I'm like, oh yeah, euphoria. Like you just made it like art housey. Yeah. And like oh, we're just gonna see sex scenes, but it's gonna be like hella colors. Like there's a color theme going on and stuff like like things kind of distract you. Like it's not just like. F- well, yeah, even sometimes when it's like that, I just feel like we can accept sex such in a different way right now that when we were younger, you could make a joke about it, which is why we have like American Pies and fucking scary movies. Yeah. Where it was like yeah. overly a sexual thing, like motherfuckers like busting nuts. Like, <laughs> and like that's Don't, mind, it, like, yeah. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. mind my <laughs> busting nuts. That's crazy. You call me out, it's crazier. <laughs> <laughs> no, we still got the no, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, no, Yo, Jimmy, right, make that right. a clip for us so we can see Bailey. 
Call me out. But do you guys hear what I'm saying though? Like, nah, yeah. You know, we can like if we can like digest sex right now way easier. Like I feel like and not to be It's because it's hard to make it's hard to make movies if like that. If we watch no Euphoria right now and there was like a I've sex scene, I feel like we would like sit there and like be okay. But like when we were younger and like even in like the in between of where we are right now, it was still kinda like, uh It's because I'm gonna like get up. It's, <laughs> like, it's I feel like, like now I feel like that way. Like that. Like I'm kinda I'm not really trying to watch that shit. Yeah, I, I feel like back because like don't nobody. It's hard to make jokes now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back then, like everything was on the table. Because I feel like <laughs> it's so artistic now, though. Exactly. So, when they try so to like, give you sex, it's like more an artistic, like love making way that it's like it's trying so hard not to make you feel awkward that you're like, oh, okay, all right. Man. When before it was but, like, I'm saying, oh, it's, it, it's not talking well, I'm saying it. it's like that. It's like that with everything, for real. Like, yeah, it's hard sure. to make shit funny now. Like yeah. back then, you could just do that for real. Yeah, like and those just, movies, like, the it, obvious joke. And like, but now people gonna get mad if you do that shit. Yeah. Those, so those it's movies, like harder to make movies like that though. Those movies would be like, I'm gonna like uh, dress up like a girl and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and, and put a camera in the women's locker room. Like man. even like yeah, I was watching, yeah, yeah. I was watching. Uh, it's like yo, for yeah. real. It's like I was watching. I was watching yeah. Super Bad the other day, and like I was like, it's mad shit in Super Bad that they would not. Oh yeah, absolutely. Down. Oh yeah, if we're but it's still about, like one of the funniest if movies talking of all about, time. Yeah, absolutely. My fucking favorite movie of all time is definitely Super Bad. But yeah, there's a way with comedy, and I struggle with it all the time because Perry is like. Big on comedy and stuff like that. And, like, I'm not the first one to click on comedy shit. So he's made me watch a lot of comedy shit. And I have to, like, get past all the shit that I'm trying to be mad about. Because, like, that's really what it's about. Like, if you tap back into, like, Richard Pryor, who would really try to talk about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially some shit that black people can talk about. And it's, like, everything to get you on the edge of your seat. Because you're like, you said that? Like, it's to make you feel uncomfortable. Be like, damn. Like, we all know these things. We're all fucking adults. But it's like, oh, my God. He said it, though. Like, it's like, it's something to talk about. Yeah. And that's what makes comedy funny. and shit. It makes you in a vulnerable space. And it makes it hilarious. And it's um personable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like it puts you in a vulnerable space where you're like, oh my god, I that's what laugh, it do. It's personable. Yeah. That's it creates that's a conversation. Yeah, that, that's you know. literally what like good comedy do. Like they say say some shit to put you in a vulnerable space for real. And then it's so compare like uh personable or like you can compare it to something that you've gone through that you're mm-hmm. like, oh my god, I yeah. have to laugh now. Mm-hmm. Like I put myself in this space and it's like, now, yeah, like, I've agreed with shit at this point, and then you said yeah. this, and, and you're I'm like, like wow. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. It's dead. Yeah. Nah. That's like the art of comedy and shit. But it like, is. it's hard to do that now because like it is because people are sensitive just to like you everything. Said. For to real. a lot of stuff and like, I don't know. It just sucks. Whatever. There's been you know like I don't even know if they call it that, but like shadow bullying of everything that people could be upset about that people say in comedy and it sucks that people are able to do that because people did it in real life mm, in yeah. real time in these people's lives and it just sucks it's like a shadow thing that people never paid attention to until now when mm. people felt like they could talk about when they felt like they you were you know what it wrong. was yeah. i was thinking about this the other day and what it was is that like Niggas started bullying niggas too hard for real. Yeah, yeah the 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 media like everything yeah, like, started social media like around where like when we was in high school and shit like when Britney went crazy and shit like yeah. we was on a bullying rampage to yeah. anybody that did anything. Yeah. Yeah, it and then it like worse. popped. You know what I'm saying? And then it just popped, and it was just Social like, oh, we got can't talk too about much shit stronger. No like yeah. media got too much strong. Like. Kids that were bullied did things mm, cause, cause like, like everybody like you when you meet somebody in real life most likely like they was getting bullied like niggas was bullying yeah. niggas in school yeah. like it went too far. No, nah, yeah, but yeah, that's why it's smooth. It's like you know bullying is being recognized and like yeah, it's like I feel like that's everybody where it knows starts that's up. like not it. You know I saying? definitely like, feel like that's like a, mm-hmm. a foundation of. And I don't want to say like that, respect, because maybe my perception is skewed. So don't quote me on this, but like maybe foundation to um, everyone feeling like they want to say some shit based off of like that school bullying, mm-hmm. like uh, letting me have the platform. Like if somebody rah rah enough, somebody paid attention. So then I'm finna rah rah enough because I've been bullied in this aspect and mm-hmm. somebody hasn't paid attention to me. So like, 
maybe it even started from that of everyone even standing up for their shit. But like, it yeah. does become too it, much where right. like the, it gets to a point that like that any motherfucker could have a power to like talk to me, talk to motherfuckers and shit. You know what I'm saying? And just like I said, like we got to a point of bullying, like it was crazy. Like we was every, that's. But on my whole like school career was Damn. just niggas getting flamed for real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I was a shorty uh, junior, yeah. I was and crazy. Then, and then niggas niggas was able to talk to the people. Or they st- motherfuckers start gaining shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, y'all could talk to a wide amount of people. And people were like, yeah, this shit would be too. That shit low. And then like yeah. it popped for real. The yeah. bully bubble popped. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, it's dead. Yeah. And now it's, it's well for everything. Yeah. You can't say yeah. shit no more. Shit. Yeah, and then it trickled up to even the adults. Like it went from mm-hmm. there, and it really just traveled through to everything where everyone felt like like a wave. The niggas so, like, didn't know how to act to on check the internet. Yourself before you can say some shit. Because again, so people the- were in shadows all of these years though, while mm-hmm. we're saying it like this. People were probably in shadows feeling away the entire time mm-hmm. while it was all comedy to us. Yeah. But people were feeling fucked up about it. Yeah. And, then and that, like it is something the, to acknowledge. And then like, too. in that time period, that's when like social media, like ne- like the, the niggas didn't know how to act on the internet. It wasn't no internet rules yeah, yet. Exactly. So niggas was going overboard doing yeah. extra shit. But and no one could say that they felt a way. Mm-hmm. And at home, once they watch it, like I feel a way because this was said. But now you do have that. What a wild like thing to like, this is what I do. I'm a bully. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. turn you upside down to get all the change out of your pockets. Yeah, yo. Yeah, Give me your you lunch know. money, nerd. Were you guys ever, um, respectfully, because let's not get too deep, were you guys ever bullied? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell uh, yeah, niggas. Uh, you guys are ever remember one light I mean, story about a bully? Shit, I got so many. I, I, I had to learn how to heat. That's why I had to yeah, learn how to heat, for real. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, like, uh, all right, I get. So, I was it's born. It's got to be lightweight, and it can't be like. Trigger. I was born. I'm no trigger warning. I was born. Pigeon toe. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just like it's like a little bit like you guys. It's a little say, bit. Uh, yeah, you guys wouldn't even. But I hooped. Don't do that like that. But like I hoop. Yeah, you know, if you play ball, niggas will see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, you oh, yeah. Oh, it. Oh, I see how you pull oh, up. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How you pull up? Yeah. Whatever, because that's my yeah. best friend. Yeah. Like, niggas start yeah. running and shit. The jump How side is nice, up? but his feet look crazy. They like, can't give you the yeah, whole shit. Like, it was loud. That was, that was like, my uh, thing. Uh, you think he'd be for all the oh time. Oh my gosh, how could you even play ball after that? Because you're facing. <laughs> How I, I literally be like, that's I'll why. Put a, I was getting yeah. buckets. How do you even get? Wow, see, that's I, something that I want to know because I'm like, how do you even get buckets after someone just fries you right in front of your face? I was while you're so, trying to uh, perform. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, yeah, I used to get hit with just like the the alt shit. You know what I mean? Just yeah, like skateboarding and like you know wearing yeah. girl jeans in a black school. Like talked about sure. this before. With yeah, Kelly. yo. Yeah, yeah used, hell yeah. They used to be I on my ass. That you guys talked about that because that's something that I talk about with you guys all yeah. the time. Because just understand, like, this is definitely like, some old black kid ass podcast mm. right here, okay? Because, like, all that shit that you went through, all them shows where you felt like it was sus, like, and it was like yeah. a dangerous situation type shit. Like, and you hope your best friend has your interests. Bitch ass nigga with them tight ass pants. You know what I'm I hate that nigga. I be hating that nigga. They'd be like, how you good in them pants? They'd be like, one leg at a time. Uh, yeah, now I'm exactly. finna heat your bitch uh, head ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get the heat. Wow, I love that. Yeah. That was so, I literally love that for yeah. the underdogs. Like, you Ugh. said one leg at a yeah. time. Uh, while the yeah, I used to say that. I used to be motherfucking, like, motherfucking, motherfucking, uh, dodging, trebit, driving ass nigga, uh, broke niggas. <laughs> yeah. boy. Oh my god! Yeah, I told you I'm sick of just this. Know, <laughs> just know, just <laughs> know. That's gonna be the title for real. I had like, okay, I was bullied profusely, like whatever, like, and I got this. You're kind of bullying, like when I got a little bit older. When I was younger, junior high, going into high school, I had one bully that was like ruining my life, like color on my shirt, mm. like cut my hair. Oh, <gasps> yeah, and guess what? His name was Kirby. 
So like I'm really oh, putting it out the there because the on my life, yeah. but uh, that's Kirby what sucked, dude. Head because head guess what? Like, okay, because I played video games, right? D D D head ass, <laughs> King D D D head ass, boy. Yo, put this dick in your mouth and blow no, up, Kirby. It just sucks because like I was a shorty. Like, how old are you when you're in like sixth or seventh grade? Like, I just had nothing for him, and he was really. Like, he would call me, like, a werewolf all the time. <laughs> it's just, like, he really, like, I got sent home hella times because he was, like, making my life a living hell. Yeah. But when I reflect back on it, I'm like, his name was Kirby. I was like, bitch, you yeah. didn't have nothing <laughs> for his ass. He was coloring on my shirt, bro. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I wish I remembered his last name, dude. I've definitely gone because, like, I know I'm doing better. <laughs> you have to be. I definitely have looked on, like, Facebook, but I'm like, fuck, I don't have a last name at all. It's just fuck like, I know name. that nigga's name was Kirby, and I'm like, I can't believe that that was the bully that really tried to make. What a race waste of a raw name. No, when for I, real. And I didn't even know. I remember nigga shoot that hit me. It was when the uh, St. Lunatics dropped the Midwest <laughs> swing. And they used to say, uh, you could tell by the way I'll walk. Okay, for <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> but see now, see, oh, like, this is so canceled mad. conversation that. right now. That's kind of sick for real. It's more ugly for a nigga to be looking at Even though it's not true, here. that's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, shit, man. We got to get the Jorge, man. Yeah, we're doing the most. Just know that we really showed up and showed out for Jorge. We're literally remote location. We moved the whole situation to really surprise him, and he's really surprised. Yeah, and sick. we got it all of it, and it was like really mad love. Like hella people pulled up, and it was a beautiful thing. So like, oh, yeah. we're on different kind of time trying to get the podcast done because we definitely <laughs> yeah. care. We finna talk about the shit, but like, yeah, we definitely gotta check up on Jorge and yeah. Uh, Share these moments with his uh, solo return for real. Uh, Remember, more life for family and friends. Period. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. From 2023 to infinity. Also, I just want to say, check up on your people. I just want to say I love you guys. And I oh, hope you guys are you. good. Make sure you guys are checking up on your people. Oh, yeah. For sure. Always just do that. If nothing else, just make sure they're all right. Yeah, tell your friends you love them for real. Period. Every day. Hell, yeah. Well, all right, y'all.